Mr. Chairman, first, thank you and um, our presenters. Um, I perceive and uh, believe uh, uh, that Mr. Pallone and Mr. Schuster are two good friends of mine here in Congress, and I'm deeply appreciative of them all the time. I'm hopeful of uh, Mr. Kramer getting to know you better. Uh, on this subject, <coughs> I would echo um, uh, the sentiments of my good friend, Mr. Cole. It does appear, uh, just listening to you, and this is the second time I've had that uh, opportunity, uh, that you certainly do know your subject. And I, um, uh, for one, um, am uh, appreciative of uh, um, uh, members who uh, make their presentations in a manner um, uh, that is um, not um, abrasive, uh, um, but uh, makes it in a, uh, a persuasive manner uh, from the perspective uh, that you hold. I also would like to borrow um, uh, from my uh, our good friend from Oklahoma, Mr. Cole, um, a notion of something that I believe he and I would uh, uh, be able to work on right away. And I've done some initial uh, work on it. Um, understanding that uh, the uh, price of oil uh, today, and I'm not a petroleum, a petroleum expert, or I don't have any uh, stock. I used to tell people the only um, stock I had was in over-the-counter, and that was groceries. Uh, so I, I'm not in the market, and I don't understand truly uh, the spot market and how oil is uh, transmitted, but in a general way, I do. Uh, but it would seem to me while prices are low now, whatever our, meaning the American oil reserve, is, um, it should either be, if it is not already maximized, um, it certainly should be maximized, and if the potential exists and if legislation is required to increase the maximum amount of our oil reserve, it would seem to be that this would be the perfect time to do it um, because we probably have about a six-month or one-year window before that price is going to go back up. And then, regrettably, not in my lifetime, I won't get to see um, uh, the full... Uh, thrust of alternative energy. Um, all of us that are advocating know uh, that it's going to be um, a 20, 25, 30 year process before you will really see a lot of solar and thermal and wind and other things like that. They're in progress, uh, but um, uh, we are not getting there um, uh, 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 fast enough for me. Um, let me also put on the table um, an area that I have a measure of expertise. I don't agree with the notion of um, uh, requiring uh, the um, litigation to be held in the circuit court uh, here in uh, D.C. Yeah. Article 3 courts were set up for a reason, and among them was to okay. ensure uh, that litigants would be able to access to the courts. And insofar as efficiency is concerned, if it's in, um, uh, in an area that requires expedition, uh, the courts are fully in a position to do that, whether it's at the district court level or at the uh, circuit court level, uh, when appropriate. Uh, I might add, it, there's no assurance because it's in the D.C. Circuit Court that it's going to be done rapidly either. It depends on a given day, on a given issue as to um, uh, whether or not it would uh, even be deserving of going to the Supreme Court, as it were. I do have a question, and that is, again, following on my friend from uh, Oklahoma, when he um, pointed out, I had written on my little notes that I wanted to ask how much of the pipeline has already been built, and then I heard the discussion on that. I do have a, an American question on that, and that is, uh, do any of you know whether the steel that has been utilized in the building of the pipeline is American steel. The gentleman yield? Yes. It, it certainly is. As a matter of fact, a lot of that pipeline is built uh, in our former colleague, Mr. Griffin's district uh, in Arkansas, but it's American steel, American products. Right. Then that all goes back. well uh, for um, your position. Now let me get um, uh, to a stickier subject. Um, I, too, have friends in Canada. Uh, I served with Jerry Grafstein, a senator. Uh, I served with 
in the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. I served with uh, the former Defense Minister and Foreign Minister of uh, Canada. Um, but we are making this sound like this is a Canadian thing. And um, when the argument is made about it won't cost an uh, um, um, American taxpayer anything to build this, while I agree, then that suggests to me, knowing my Canadian friends, or that they are private investors or that are in TransCanada. And it's kind of ironic that they're never talked about uh, the who they are. They're not all Canadian. Uh, some of them are American. And I'm not uh, grudgeful of um, uh, folk who had great genetic accidents and abilities as a result thereof, uh, but the fact of the matter is uh, that some people uh, that are involved in TransCanada, um, they are givers to Canadian parliamentarians under their uh, particular structure and givers uh, to uh, some of us as well. Would the gentleman yield? Yes. J just uh, by way of information, and I, I probably should double check this, but I'm almost certain TransCanada is actually an American company. Mm -hmm. It's actually based in mm -hmm. the United States. Mm -hmm. so, and, although, and, again, and, and the investors, and I, I'm, you well, know. Well, as I'm, my friend knows, there's yes. considerable cross-border investment between Canada sure. and the States. Sure, and, and, and I stay away from um, pointing out, I've read the articles as to who owns, you know, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not uptight about that. I, I do have uh, abiding concerns. Uh, for example, the national security argument, I could flip it. Um, if we were in other areas, for example, Putin just shut down one. He was getting ready to run across uh, uh, Kazakhstan. And no one has satisfied me yet as if this is so good uh, for America, then why isn't Canada running it through their own territory, which would be their option if by chance it does not ever lift here uh, uh, fully operative, then they're going to wind up doing it um, uh, in Canada. But I don't want to uh, uh, belabor the point. There are several other areas uh, I, too, am concerned, as Ms. Slaughter has uh, pointed out. Uh, there will be spills. Uh, there will be concerns. Um, I'm not sure uh, what the Nebraska litigation is uh, contemplating. Um, uh, and I I hesitate because so many people are on the negative side of the endangered species arguments. I don't know whether there are any that are contemplated here or need to be. Um, and so um, I, I'll be um, uh, listening. I do want to uh, end with just a, a moment of uh, humor. Uh, we spend our time here with the Keystone Pipeline, and there's a beer a brewery in Bruges, uh, Belgium, that is running a beer pipeline uh, the two miles outside Bruges, but he wanted to keep the family business manufacturing it where it is. And I'd a hell of a lot rather be uh, at the end of their pipeline than at the end of this one, that's all.